Hi everybody, this is Jamal from Jay's Internet Solutions. Welcome to another episode of Jay's TV. Today's topic is called Another Dimension, okay? And something happened uh, recently and I was going to write a blog post about this and I, I probably still will, but I thought I'd make it a Jay's TV episode as well. Um, social media is not merely an extension to our conversations and our sort of communication with people, but it adds actually a new and a separate dimension uh, to those relationships, okay? And uh, what sparked this idea um, is that last week um, I, was, I had a meeting with someone and uh, a client called me during my meeting, right? A different client called me and to the, uh, you know, after the call I mentioned to this person I was meeting with um, you know, something about this client and, and how I know her, all of these things. And later that day, the same client who had called me um, had a Facebook status message saying that um, someone told her that he talks about her, um, saying that, you know, she's an awesome person. And then I commented saying that I spoke about you uh, today as well. Okay, so then if you get that, um, I, I was talking about this client and someone else was talking about her as well and we sort of picked that up on, on Facebook. Now, if there was no Facebook and I did speak about this client in another meeting, I would never have told her. I would have never picked up the phone or I'd have, um, there would be a slim chance that I would meet her in the next week and say, you know what, I mentioned you last week. So what Facebook and Twitter does is it adds a, a whole new dimension to what we are talking about, okay? And like we mentioned before, uh, in a very early episode of Jay's TV, that listening is the new marketing, okay? So we now have the tools to listen, right? With Twitter and Facebook and all of these things, but the listening is not just normal listening because people aren't talking about what they would normally talk about uh, sort of in everyday uh, circumstances. People are actually talking about more things. They're talking about different things, okay? So the opportunities now are sort of um, much, much huger than they ever were before, right? Ever in, in history, I don't think people were talking about so many things in so many different ways as they are today, okay? And I think for psychologists, I, um, psychology is a personal passion of mine. I'm very interested in it. And I think for psychologists and for people studying human behavior, um, these two are essential. They can sort of, um, you know, really uh, get a lot of insight into what people are thinking and speaking about um, and by analyzing uh, Facebook and Twitter especially, okay? So, for example, on Twitter, there's a common phrase called note to self, okay? So if someone um, uh, is talking to themselves, right? On Twitter, they'll say note to self. Like, for example, someone will say, uh, note to self, um, don't um, don't wear this shirt with, with that color pants again because you look like an idiot or uh, because people are staring at you, right? So people, what people are actually thinking, these are things they will never say to even the person sitting next to them, right? But they will say it on Twitter, okay? It's actually amazing. And I actually, I'm very self-aware and I'm very um, into self-awareness. So... I've noticed that even myself, I do this. I say things on Twitter and on Facebook that I actually wouldn't even tell the people that I'm, I'm physically with for the whole day, right? And then I've been with people the whole day and uh, a couple hours later, I will see them say things on Facebook and Twitter which they would have never have told me and they didn't tell me during our, our sort of personal time together, okay? So, um, the understanding that I want to sort of explain in this episode is that uh, social media brings a new dimension, not an extension of our relationships, okay? So we are not talking, um, we're not only talking more to people, uh, communication is not only easier, but it has now taken on a new dimension where people are talking about different types of things, things that would never have talked about before, okay? So for business, this is um, extremely valuable because now you can create your products around what people are talking about, what people are um, complaining about, what people are wanting. So, um, you know, it's very powerful for business. It's powerful for people in, in psychology, like I mentioned. And uh, there's a lot of value to this expo exposure of... Um, 
personal things which people are talking about okay so i just wanted to sort of um you know uh, share that with you uh, something that I, I i i have been thinking of about this obviously for a long time i have been speaking a bit about similar types of things but because of what happened a couple of days ago i did want to do an episode about this um and uh, you know just to sort of uh, explain this topic more to you guys okay so that's it for for this episode of Jay's TV um, until we meet again uh, for some interesting talks on business and social media uh, enjoy your business uh, and go out there and crush it <laughs>